Governor Mark Dayton delivered his final State of the State address tonight. As I prepare to leave office, I want to thank the people of Minnesota who twice voted for me to serve as their governor, and thank the legislators, supporters, and allies who helped us succeed. The governor talked about where the state was when he took office seven years ago, how far it's come, and the work that still needs to be done. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily is here right now with what the governor highlighted. Jen? Well, the governor Dayton took time to outline the success the state has seen under his leadership. This was his final chance to show what his administration has accomplished and how leaving Minnesota in better shape will be one of his most important legacies. Dayton started by sharing the dire financial condition the state was in when the Democrat took office from a Republican in 2011. The governor touted his campaign pledge to raise taxes for only the wealthiest 2% of Minnesotans and how, when it passed, it restored what he called financial stability and integrity to state government. The changes made Minnesota's tax system more progressive and has been crucial in turning chronic budget deficits into steady surpluses. Paying off the state's debt to our schools, eliminating other fiscal shenanigans, and building a $1.9 billion budget and cash reserve. The governor highlighted investments in education like all day kindergarten and touched on transportation funding and clean water. He applauded senators who stood with students asking for legislation to reduce gun violence in schools. Those changes that they've proposed will help keep guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't have them. They will save lives. I want to thank the many legislators in this chamber from both parties who are fighting for these and other life-saving measures to reduce gun violence in our state. I will sign any of that legislation the minute it reaches my desk. And he did address some challenges and obstacles, like the number of people who have dropped their health insurance, making the uninsured rate rise. But he ended strong with how Minnesota consistently ranks among the best in the nation. Dayton also joked about keeping the speech short so that he could walk out on his own. You'll remember during last year's State of the State, Dayton took a drink of water and suddenly started to slur his words. That's when he collapsed, hitting his head on the podium and falling backwards. A day later, we learned the governor had been diagnosed with prostate cancer the week prior. On Friday, Dayton will release his supplemental budget. He said the priority is tax fairness for Minnesotans and their families. Amelia. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. And we do have the full transcript of the State of the State at WCCO.com. GOP leaders responded on the House floor immediately after Dayton's speech. From our perspective, the state of the state is good. Um, it's very strong. Minnesotans are, are experiencing uh, great effects from the tax relief passed in Washington, uh, great effects from the tax relief passed by Republicans here in Minnesota last year. Um, and as a result of that, uh, our Minnesota budget now has a, a surplus. We've seen a $600 million turnaround from a deficit to a surplus because of that tax relief, because we invested in Minnesotans, and Minnesotans have invested back in our economy, and we think that's just an awesome thing. Republicans say they can work with Democrats this session on issues including school safety and the opioid crisis. They say the governor's speech set an optimistic tone for the rest of the session, which concludes in May.